Alrighty, we have a new set here and very good rare. You get a lot of rares in these packs, but this is a 2 2 first act lifeing for 2, so Knight of Melogrim for those who remember that. But you saddle it for 4 and get a free free. And uh, if this card survives, you win the game. And if not, you at least got a free free fly out of the deal and some life. I'm gonna try the Seraphic Steed here. And here we got a uh, Journey to Nowhere. Good remover spell. I basically think it's better than the common free mana card. Yes, you can't take non land. You can't take non creature permanence, but that's usually what you want to get anyway. I think Outcast the Green Blade Rambling Possum are good on commons. Holy Cow is also fine, but don't see why I should not take Journey to Nowhere here. Right, so now we got a Allo Alchemist. Two mana free to trample, that's good. But you can also plot it for one and then you give something plus three plus two. Works very well with the steed because it makes it more likely for you to survive. This also is, uh, you can play this and it's three power out of four to saddle this. So I think that works out very good. Keep taking green and white cards. Uh, I don't think I have been married to my first pick because some of the best cards in the packs have been green and white. And uh, I've been liking green white. I think green is very powerful, has a lot of powerful rares and uncommons. So and white's got some good stuff to removal. And uh, saddling is, uh, has felt somewhat trivial. As long as you're playing a, a lot, a lot of creatures. Okay, so now there is only one white or green card in this pack, and that's Area Slal by not particularly good. Um, I think that the best card in the pack is Skull Dagger, probably. Uh, I think that. Uh, but I don't think it's that much better to, to make me switch. I could play Earth's Lull, but I'm gonna take it. I don't think there's particularly a good reason to switch. This card's okay. So I got only two drops so far. See if that can change. Decisive, decisive denial. So it's between Holy Cow and Sterling Supplier. Both are fine. I think that at this early stage I'd rather have a Holy Cow. I think it's been a solid card. You can't usually use the flash to much effect, but you may end, end, end up with some random cards that Makes you want to not cost a spell during your turn. There's a 2 2 lifelink, for example. Uncommon, but. Been liking Holy Cow so far. I like the combination of evasion and life gain. That's usually nice because the price you pay for having an evasive card is that it doesn't block as well, usually. And that's where the life gain comes in. And the scry doesn't hurt either. Okay, I don't like Tumbleweed Rising in this kind of deck. And it's getting a little concerning that I don't see any green or white cards, but there isn't any, anything that's that good. I'm gonna take an Abraded Bluffs because there are some sick multicolored bombs you may want to splash. So I don't think, I'm not gonna play this just to deal one damage if I'm not playing a red card, but if I'm playing a red card, there are some green cards also that tap, like there is a green common one one that taps for any color. Okay, here's Servant of the Singers. Very good card, but I could take Conduit Phylons. It's another desert that could make me help splashing. I could also take the Servant of the Singer and maybe go into black white. I don't think the Conduit is even that good. So I'm gonna take the Servant and maybe hedge a little bit. Here's another desert which could help me splash a red card. 
don't think Bristlepack Sentry is that good, but it's uh, it is a high-powered creature that can saddle, so maybe it is fine. It's uh, three out of four to saddle that. All right, I'll take the Sentry. It's a playable card sometimes. Uh, this is not a card I'm gonna play, so I guess I'll, Mirage Mias is not a bad card. Townsfolk or the Commander? I think the Commander is slightly better. Alright, so. Not the most impressive first pack, but we do have a bomb and we got some solid removal spells. Or to this journey to nowhere is solid. We got the possibility of splashing, especially a red card. <laughs> like Slick's got show off. Yeah, that is a good card. How good is this in this deck? I still think it's gonna be very good. Do we have Lullaby, Journey to Nowhere? Yeah. High Noon, though, I'm very less excited about. There is a couple of good cards at Prosperity Tycoon, Stable Master. Stable Master seems pretty good. If you're having a lot of mountain vehicles, and it's not a bad because two mana mana dork, which is usually pretty good. Prosperity Tycoon is a 4 2 that makes a 1 1. Which is better though. I mean, I could abandon green and go like red white. I guess I'll take the Tycoon. It gives me a little bit of possibility of abandoning the green, but we shall see. If the 2 to tap for any color, it would be way more exciting. This card is just very good though. Oh, a white mythic. So it's a 3 mana 2 for that whenever you cast a creature, you get a 1 1 or a, a token of an artifact. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna take that. I have 7 creatures right now and. Uh, it also keeps me in white for white green. All right, so now we have to make a choice. I have not been very impressed by these 1 1 Death Touchers, so it's between the Hell's Bar Brute. Don't have too many. Actually, I don't have too many Outlaws. So maybe I just take the Trained Arrynx because it's a mount. Here is a Drover Grizzly, a card I've been somewhat impressed with. 4-2, Sal gives everything trample, and uh, it's just a huge card. Works with the Sentry. It can crew the Steed. Yeah, maybe it's just what I want here. Right, no white or green card. Very good card in Blood Hustler. Let's take Reckless Lackey just in case. Been a uh, bit of a rough draft so far. Okay, so now there is this card, which I do have a couple of mounts, and it also kind of fixes me. The alternative is to take some of these random cards, but... Take this. We have one, two, three... Three mounts right now. <laughs> Electrodominance. That's not a very good card, so... I 
think that I'm gonna take this copy because it's pretty good with the townsfolk. I mean the 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 um, matter weaver because that makes a lot of creatures. Another ranch. Yeah, sure. I won't splash the show off. It's not a mount. No medic is okay. And Sterling Hound, I call the 23rd card special because it's a card you can always put in your deck. It's rare. What does the last pack have to give us? It does have Anne Jones up, which is technically on color. So it makes legendary creatures trigger once more. This is not a legend. I don't have any legends. It is a four mana removal spell, but. The thing is, if I'm not taking that, what else am I taking? I don't like Bovine Intervention. Reckless Lack is decent. Reach from the Sky is not great. I guess I'll take any Yoings up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I may, may not even play it, but I don't think there's much better in that card. Caustic Bronco is good, but I don't think I can take it. There is a this card which blinks a creature or destroys a creature with the greatest power. I don't think I can use a blink to that much effect. Maybe I can attack with this, make a free free flyer, and then save it. I don't know how good that is. I think steer clear could be okay. I, I do have some mounts, so it's gonna be a it's always gonna be a one mana deal too, but at some times it's gonna be Deal four. It's gonna be okay. But the thing is, if you don't abuse the second ability, it's not that good of a card. Four mana deal five is not that good. <laughs> Rest in peace. That's not a very good card. Uh, but there is Stable Master or Hard Bristle Bandit. So the Stable Master is taps for green, but you can also pay two mana to cast mountain vehicles. Yeah, I think at this point I want the Stable Master over the Bandit. The Bandit helps him cast some red cards, but I may not even play any red cards. So Map the Frontier. Nurturing Pixie, so it's a 1-1, one, 5-1, one, one, but you can also return a, another permanent to make it a 2-2, two, two. so I could return any young itself. <laughs> um, I don't have much to do, do with that, but this is not a great card, but I guess it helps you when you go wide. Alright, I'll take the Pixie, I guess. Um, Savage Smash and Betrayer of the Vault are sort of expensive, clunky removers, but the Savage Smash is good, I'm just not that playing that much red. Grand Abolisher. That's a fine card. It's not that good, but it is a 2 for 2 that makes your opponent can't cast spells. So it can be very good against a blue white deck. There is another Holy Cow. I think I'm taking a ball. I should have. My mana is looking okay. And I guess I'll take another Steel Clear. Probably it's going to be green white though. So I need a couple more playables. Oh, this could be rough. Could be rough.
think that this draft didn't go that good. I may have. I don't know. Faria is not great, but it is a free mana enchant creature, and all I'm sure to use it to enchant a creature instead, so it doesn't stop activated abilities. I think, it, I think I'm gonna take Stagecourt Security. I do have this card, which creates a bunch of 1 ones, it could be okay. I don't think Pariah is good. Reach for the sky. Flash plus three plus two, yeah, right. I might play. Getting some playables here is nice when you're low on playables. Two trawler. So I'm down to play. I also may have to play. Could Splash Sleeks could show off. And Yanni Oins up. Yanni Oins up is nice with the, the Nurturing Pixie. But I don't have any Legends, but it is a removal spell. Alright, sure. Then I will play this. This is not a good deck. Is what it is. Oh, need to play a mountain. Because so I'm playing two of those. Yeah. I don't expect great things from this deck, but we shall see. Okay, I do have my uh, my uh, colors here. I could just go aggro with turn one pixie, but if I play that backwards turn one, I can play the sh show off turn two. That's probably better. Don't really see why I should plot the show off here. But I could see plotting the stagecoach security. Red black. Huh? Steer clear. That could work with a show off in the sense that I might use that on a blocker and then I get to deal two extra damage. So. Next turn I could play the Pixie, bounce the show off and still attack for two because I'm not using my mana to anything else anyway. So whenever my opponent costs a second spell each turn, my opponent gets a 1-1. One, one. And it's gonna happen this turn apparently. Okay. Good stuff. We are racing, huh? So now I'm gonna do the play I, I described. I'm gonna So we'll attack first. Let's see why not? And here I could might as well plot the the, the slick shot because I'm I'm not. I could. Yeah. So the reason not to plot this type and block for it, but I kind of don't want to block it. And if I do this, it's, it's safe from a source of speed removal spell, right? And I don't, I'm not losing out on any damage. Go. I'm down a blocker, but I'm probably not. I mean, this is going to get activated probably. Let's 
sandstone birds. It taps for colors so you can make a creature not be able to block. Okay. I don't feel too bad about my chances here because I do have an air power going on and my opponent is attacking me on the ground mostly. Well, let's play this then. And I'm gonna plot the stagecoach. Oh, one doesn't have a removal spell here. Not to plot. Or about the lag. Right, five mana. All right, that's a uh, card can block my stagecoach security, but never. All right, let's cause this. Attack for five. I could cost steer clear on my own creature to deal an additional two, but I don't think I want to do that right now. I can maybe do it next turn on a blocker. And it's down to eight. Comes a Remove a spell. Kind of expected that. And not remove a spell. Alright. I think I may have to steer clear here. I don't like it, but I don't want to take seven, and this might buy me an extra turn. Hopefully draw something. Alright. Well, let's play another game. Don't really need to bring in like a enchantment removal for the Brimstone. I don't think I have anything anyways, and could bring in this one as a good blocker, and then in the end, later in the game, it can start attacking. I think I can win this match if I draw a little better. Get some evasion going, maybe some pump spells. Some of my Rares. Okay, on the play. Oh man, missing green. But man, the mountain. <laughs> I'm only one green man away from the good stuff here. Then the holy cow can give me a scry at the town's fall. This is a gamble. <laughs> okay. Suspends the black snag buzzer, which is a two on flyer that gets a counter if anything has died. Land, preferably forests, but I'll take planes. Good. 
So this card combines pretty well with the removal spell because you can cast it. I mean, you can play the removal spell first and then cast this as a free to flyer. So it's a pretty good card in uh, red black, I should say. Well, it's not very good. Suspends a highway robbery, which is the spell. This got a card, second land. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be one of those games. So. You might as well just got a grand up ball the shirt. I don't think it's it's. If I draw a planes, I'm gonna play something else. Three for mana, suck another creature. It gets a counter, and if you draw. Spell. All right, we are basically done here, but. Let my I just want to see if my opponent has a removal spell, because. Uh, Kind of suspected that, and it's interesting to know if I was right. Alright, we are done here. 